Hello and a very warm welcome to this week's What's Hot. Now, the news story that subdued the markets early in the week, and I am prepared to debate this, is the news story about the beautiful game and the creation of a European Super League, which, according to Real Madrid's president, was created to save football. Or was it created to save Real Madrid? Because look carefully at the indebtedness of some of the clubs which are going to be entering the European Super League. Tottenham Hotspur for once at the top of the league. However, no one to save Jose Mourinho. Due to his lack of daring and doing, there's a picture of the special one with Gareth Bale on loan from Real Madrid. Conspiracy theorists there can have an absolute field day. So whilst fans might be seeing red, investors will be looking for opportunities to make money. And bookies are leaning towards the Premier League's big six not playing a European Super League match before the year 2025, four years time, and spread better IG suggests a European Super League hurts competition, but could boost the Manchester United share price. But it's all down to the fans now and the adage that revenge is a dish better served cold. Which brings me to the revenge shopping that is being executed on the high street since non-essential shops have been allowed to trade. Now, I love this quote from Beaver Brooks' boss, Anna Blackburn, that's a jeweller. She said, now, I think there are still limitations to what people can do. And I think that they're thinking they've always wanted that Swiss watch or that diamond ring and they're just treating themselves, which is brilliant to see. But what about the things that you can't see? The intangibles like crypto currencies, though you can see them in your digital wallets and you can get exposure to the cryptocurrency gig via mode global holdings and Coincilium. Well, if central banks catch up and they emulate what the Bank of England is currently considering, that is a central bank digital currency, there's another choice thrown into the digital currency mix. But if academics and civil servants and consultants are involved, this will take a very long time to introduce, impose and debug. Very much like this European Super League, it's all about those who buy into it early on and at grassroots level. It's all down to the fans. Stay well, stay safe. I'll be back same time next week.